This is a video review of Diesel Russia, Tanker Russia, Car Carrier Russia, their combined mode, Diesel Russia, and Diesel Russia's combined mode with Tokyo, Cho Tokyo. And so, uh, anyway, let's get into it. As you can see, um, Diesel Russia is very long as just his own train. Um, like, all of this here is entirely Diesel Russia, and he is, um, if I were not able to bend him a little bit, he would not be fitting on camera, which is a you know, impressive, but a bit, a bit of a shame because I don't think he needs to be this long, especially because the middle section here, the only way that it's able to bend at all is using some transformation joints, which is a bit cheating because like uh, the joint right here doesn't bend the other way. And as you can see, he does have um, that same gimmick that all the others have where you have a... Um, train that can split into multiple parts you can have a joint but you can combine them together into a um, slightly shorter train that sticks together so I will actually um, do that with a uh, diesel rusher right now so to do this you're just going to take all the parts um, straighten them out and then you're going to take these uh, little things right here and right here and fold them in and then start plugging them on like this and like this so this is Diesel Russia all together, and like I said, he's super long. Uh, to do the same thing to Tanker Russia, you can uh, fold that in, put them in like that. And the same thing again to Car Carrier Russia. Like that. And if you combine these together, it's a uh, super long train. If you combine them together with uh, the rainbow line, it's even longer. It's um, like seven to eight feet. It's a super long train. Now anyway, to... Um, and there, there's not much to the uh, individual tiny guys here. I mean, you can turn them into legs for a uh, Tokyo. Like, you can take this, pop this off, and then pop this on. You can turn this into like a, a, a fist for Tokyo, like a boxing gloves or something. Uh, you can do that with all the uh, parts and stuff. It's it's not very interesting. I mean, it's there. You can make up your own forms and stuff, but it's... I could go into lots of different combinations and stuff, and none of them would be uh, more interesting than the last. So that's basically how these things work. It's just kind of there. And the same thing kind of applies with um, Car Carrier Resha. The difference is that he's supposed to have like a gimmick where you shoot the cars off and they hit people and stuff. Well, the one thing that's kind of interesting is that if you bring the ramp all the way down, the ramp fits the slope of the um, cockpit there, so that's kind of interesting. And that's actually just about all there is to these guys. They're not meant to be more than just supplementary parts for Takuo if you want to have some extra effects happen, and as legs for uh, Diesel Low. So put those off to the side. Next, we're looking at... Uh, uh, Diesel Russia, and he is super long, and the middle of him is not very well connected because it's uh, one of these um, normal connections uh, like this that we've been seeing all over the place on um, uh, Talk to Huger stuff. But the thing is that it doesn't cover the bottom, so it can just uh, droop off. So that's a bit of a shame because it means that you can't just pick it up and do stuff. It's also a bit too long to do that. Um, but anyway, that's Diesel Russia. You do get a little compartment in there, and without combining it, it doesn't do much by itself. So, I'm not sure why anyone would just buy Diesel Russia except for the later combinations. Like, these guys at least make sense. You can do stuff with Tokyo with them, but this guy only makes sense as a part of um, Dieselo and Cho Tokyo. By himself, he's kind of worthless. So, uh, well, and granted, these are by themselves kind of worthless too, but at least there's a, um, if you already have Tokyo and you buy one, it kind of makes sense. So anyway, moving on to the actual combination sequence. You will pop this up here to form a foot, put it off to the side, do the same thing here, and um, these are basically done. Next, we need to start transforming um, Diesel Rusher, which is actually kind of interesting. I do like this transformation. What you do is you... You pull it apart here and here, and you get this section that's left off. Well, I'll show you what this is in a minute. And then you have these here. And in here, you can see on the other side some um, uh, combination bits. Like, you can tell that this is going to hook into the arm port on Tokyo. What But we're going to do is we're going to pull one of these out. It doesn't matter which one, just as long as it's only one of them, because they're mirror images of each other. And then they will hook together in here like this. So you have the two sides by them, uh, next to each other. You'll pull them out like this. Bring them out and down like that, out and down like that. Open this up and open this up. Then you'll take this section right here and it will uh, clip right here and right here. 
and then you open this down and that will reveal the head and then you'll take these move them out to the side and um, clip on the um, tar carrier and tinker esha and here we have diesel all complete and <laughs> kidding me right that's it he looks like that guy from a uh, family guy who has um pe uh, two peg legs and peg arms he he he's, he's doing an eternal shrug he's <laughs> this is not this i do not believe this is what bandai actually meant to make i i just don't believe i can't believe anyone signed off on this it's yeah, yeah, he, Diesel O looks kind of ridiculous, and it's worse than you think because there are gaps in here. So he has kind of like a turtleneck, or it's like he his neck should be super thick, but then he's got he's like a um a, a turtle that has like one of those uh, pop bottle rings around its neck or something that prevents it from growing right. He, he just looks so silly, and then he only has one fist, and then he can't move his arms down more than this. So he's like a doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop, and it's. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just cannot, unless you just enjoy the hilarity of Diesel O's design, I cannot recommend this. This is just such a silly guy. Anyway, for posability, the arms rotate around 360 like this and then go in and out. And if you want, you can press these down like this. Um, there, what I'm doing is that there's a, a little button right there that allows you to bend it right here. And then you can put him down and he can sit down and have tea. He can be Mrs. Nesbitt. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not taking this guy seriously at all. This is... <clears throat> Tokyo was fine. He looked weird, but I understood what Tokyo was going for. I like Tokyo. Diesel is just weird. I, I don't know what to make of him. He's... I don't know what they were thinking. Like, is he supposed to be a reference to something? Is there, like, some... Uh, Buddhist statue in Japan or something that looks like this that they're paying homage to? Because I, if that's the case, I can understand that. Because, like... On the Zeo Megazord, the um, two uh, Zords, that uh, the Moa Lander and the Dogu Lander, those are obviously just feet. But I get what they are because I get another part of a uh, culture like they're supposed to look like the Moai statues and the uh, Dogu statues. I get that. That makes sense. That, that justifies why they look the way they do. I don't know what justifies Diesel-O looking like diesel -O. So anyway... Moving on from Diesel, let's combine him with uh, Tokyo. So to get Tokyo ready, we're going to pop off his arms here and leave him off to the side. Uh, put up his head like this and bring it back like this, and that's all we need to do. We'll put it off to the side. Um, next, we're going to take apart Diesel and um, um, get his parts already. So we'll take the legs off, and the legs are almost exactly what they need to be, except. Um, uh, having this bend in them because uh, you would push this button bend them and then fold out these uh, little tabs right here So this is how, what you want to do with tanker Russia With car carrier rush you want to do exactly the same thing just mirrored so we have those ready put them off to the side Then we'll take this pop it up pull it up and put it off to the side and then we'll split these and We'll want to pull both of these out pull this out pull this up and then we'll want to bring it around like this because these will form giant cannons. Do the same thing to the other side. Uh, like that and um, we're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take Tokyo back and then we'll take Car Carrier Russia and we'll plug it into his um, shin on the side like this. And because of all the weight that uh, Diesel is going to add to this when we get to Cho Tokyo, these extra toe bits here that help the balance aren't really necessary. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull it up. We're going to take one of these. This is going to go where one of the arms went and then this is going to go right here like this. And do the same to the other side. And then we're going to put the arms in like this and like this and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take this bit here raise up these horns and then plug it where Tokyo's head went before and this is Cho Tokyo and whereas Diesel O was just weird and silly and I don't know what to make of him this isn't bad it's a bit wide and a bit flat and with the pictures we've seen of the layer combinations, that looks like it's going to be the problem of this entire line. It's trains next to each other pretending to be robots and looking really flat. 
I'm interested to see where it goes, but I'm also a little bit nervous because I don't think we're going to get stuff that's as awesome as we might be able to get. But anyway, I don't mind this. Um, I wish the shoulders were a little bit higher because they look kind of low with how high up the head is now and how big it is. But it's it's not bad. I, I get what they're going for with this. Um, it's certainly more respectable than diesel low, but it's... It's still weird and takes some getting used to. I will say, I do like the two cannons up there because um, they really remind me of a, 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 the Macross from Super Dimensional Fortress Macross. So I, I can dig those. And um, yeah, there's not much else to say about this. Uh, Diesel is basically a mule for parts for Cho Tokyo, who seems to be a mule for parts for later combinations. Hopefully, later combinations will um, justify Diesel existing. If this is all that's done with Diesel uh, although, I think there is another combination that's like something else piling on top of the uh, head here and then the head going up higher. I don't know how, how that, what it's going to do to the, to the shoulders, but I've, I've seen pictures of it and it looks kind of weird. Um, basically, I am interested in Tokyuger the same way that I'm interested in the train wreck. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. I hope for the best. But if it's going to be spectacular, I hope it's spectacular. So, yeah, I don't know if I recommend Diesel. I recommend Tokyo. I like Tokyo. I get Tokyo. Diesel, I only recommend if you're willing to look at the hilarity of it. If you want to see a hilarious looking robot, or if um, some of the later combinations make Diesel's contributions to the overall combined mass of whatever final combination we're going to get. If Diesel just uh, it works well and that is a necessary component to that, I re would recommend him then too, but I would just hold off on him because you'll be just fine with Tokyo. You don't need Diesel -O. He's He's silly. Anyway, I review Transformers, Power Rangers, Digimon, Macross figures, uh, Tobots, lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe. I've got some links in the uh, video description down below, a Facebook link, and some playlists. Check them out. Thank you for watching.